So how do you take your points now and prepare them for an export? The first thing I usually do is go to this table view and I make sure that everything looks good. Any points I need to change the names on here, I can do it really quickly. Um, you can come in here and just edit some things. Um, let's see, what else can you do here? You can change attributes if you want to. Some of them default to attributes depending on the layer you put them on. Attributes really don't mean much unless uh, you actually are using them, so make sure that you adjust your attributes as necessary if you like to use them. I really never care for them, so I don't really care what accidentally gets put over here. Uh, but what is nice is that, let's say that you are working with heights, you can come in here and select a bunch of points that you know need to have a specific height. You can come right here and say that height needs to be 10 feet sea level. And I'll say update height, and they'll all update to 10 feet. Same thing for the attributes. You notice the attributes left, so if I needed to change all these attributes at the same time, I can say, okay, these are sleeves, uh, 6 inch, right? So I can say update. I don't know why it says update height, but you can still say update, and it'll update that as well. So anyway, I come to the table view, edit up my points a little bit, anything I need to change. Um, and you can even, by the way, you can even convert these to control points too. So convert layout point per control point, and I say next. And it'll make it a, uh, you can make basically certain points in here back into control points if you need to. Uh, they're not control points yet. So a lot of things you can do in here, but that's how you kind of prepare it for your export and then when you're ready to export you can either go here to export your points or you can go to your data manager here to export your points okay so I'm gonna go here just to show you um, it's gonna ask you how you want to separate your values so for instance what that means is that I know these are separated out in columns but in the real world with a comma separated file it's gonna look, look like this right the name comma value comma etc so you're just saying, okay, what separated you want? That's important for when you import it. You want to make sure that when you export it, the same export settings are the same as when you import them. So I either use a comma or a semicolon as my export. I don't really care. And then my unit setting, I almost always have this at feet. And this is international feet. Um, U.S. survey feet and, and international feet have like a difference of one foot over a million feet. That's why you want to... That's just the difference between them. So just so you understand but yeah I use feet and then under format this is asking you how do you want the points to be ordered ENH NEH I almost keep it at NEH and remember the only point behind this is that however you export it you want to make sure that the settings when you import them are, are the exact same you can select which points you want to export All right so if you have different types of points in here you can and then you simply say export uh, I'll put it on my USB I'll call this demo uh, demo points I'll say save. So once you say export, you're good to go. And you can now take that CSV file and put it into your tablet and have all your points.